Hi friends, this is Mohamed Jibran and welcome to our C-Sharp Tutorials. We are working on the application which will store the complete details of the student. In the previous video, we were able to uh, create this add student form as well as this edit student form with the database having a table named as student registration with all of this field. fields. Right now, this table is empty as you can see. Now the task in this video is to get the data from this add student form and store that in our table. So for that, let me just double click on the save button and for, let me just uh, list out the steps which you require to store the data into the database. First of all, you need to have a connection string which will hold the physical address of your database and the credentials required if they are, if they exist. To connect to the database then you need to open the connection to it after that you need to have an uh, query to execute and then once you have a query you would like to execute that query and after executing the query you should close the connection so where can i get the connection string so for that uh, you can just directly select your uh, database okay and uh, go to your properties pane in that you will see connection string just copy that and we'll use one variable name as con which stands for connection and we'll paste that over here okay so this is your connection string now you have your connection string then you need to add the SQL connection object before that let me just go and add a using statement at the top of my page SQL client now I will say SQL connection obj con equals new SQL connection so now I need to uh, create an SQL connection as you can see this parameter the parameter over here is the connection string so we have to pass the connection string which we have now you have the connection to our database now we should uh, open that connection so for that objcon dot open now here the connection will get open and now you should have an query string query equals okay so now i hope you guys know the uh, syntax of an sql query uh, which is like insert into table name columns then what values you would like to pass into the columns okay so give me a second let me uh, write the query for this uh, table so here I have the query which will uh, in which looks something like this father mobile local address and all the column names and then I'm getting the values from my text boxes so this is a bit uh, uh, noticeable thing that how I'm getting the values from the text boxes once I add this uh, write this parenthesis I'm writing a single quotes then double quotes then uh, concatenation or a plus sign and to get the first column value and after that again I'm writing the concatenation then the double quotes single quotes with a comma then single quotes double quotes and then a plus sign again to get the next value this makes it uh, one uh, complete value since you are you are concatenating it that's the reason you are using this plus sign and uh, since it is a string we are using the single quotes okay so this is the reason this format is looking like this i'm passing all the values uh, okay so here you have it and uh, once you 
I have the query okay just misplaced it this will be here and now I'm um, the query should be here now how do we execute the query for that you need one SQL command object and now this will take uh, two parameters that is uh, the first one will be the query so our query is written under the vari variable query and the next SQL connection SQL connection is our obj con so we'll pass that this is SQL uh, connection not the connection string that's the reason we are writing obj con so we will execute that on the command object execute non query okay so after that we will close the connection obj con dot close fine so now we'll try to put everything in a try and catch block message box dot show if this uh, completes with successfully we are going to show a message data data stored successfully otherwise we are going to say that some error occurred okay so hopefully you know how this uh, uh, exception handling works so let me put a breakpoint over here just to check everything is going fine we'll uh, run the application now the first name will be Ray Sean and I'm not giving any image over here uh, I will give his mobile number as something his mobile number will be Bill Sean his local uh, address will be Newtown permanent address will be old town is we are not taking his gender so I'm keeping that as um, empty his date of birth will be something like this his roll number is batch we are not taking these values but still we are we just let me just write so now we just came to the code behind now let's just try to run this now I have the connection string with this we will try to get the <coughs> connection of it now we are opening the connection and uh, now the connection has been successfully opened now I'm getting the connection the query for uh, the database I'm creating the command object and I'm trying to execute the query and successfully this query has been executed so now we'll close the uh, connection to the database and we'll store show that the data has been stored successfully and now we will try to come out of this let me just close it and uh, see have we successfully added the data or not just to refresh the database go to the table right click show table data and as you can see we have successfully added the data we have ration with the mobile number for the name yes we have successfully added the data and let me just show you one thing uh, as we added the value inserted the values into the uh, table the values stayed over there I don't want that because uh, I don't want to manually delete all the values one by one so we'll try to write one simple method to do that for us uh, we will just write uh, private void clear all we'll write a method the first text box I have is uh, having the name of text box f name 
dot text uh, let me make that its text as empty let me just make it nothing okay so what i will do is as soon as i complete all this i will just uh, call this method which will clear my text box okay so let me just show you that we'll add a new entry billy jimmy image is nothing mobile number as again 999 is uh, billy jimmy again new town old town his date of birth is something like this and then his roll number will be something like this you know taking it okay now just let's just save it and it says data stored successfully and as you can see all the values are there except the first name because we cleared that and you can do the same with all the values because you would uh, not appreciate if you always have to delete all the values one by one so just remove it like this so that you can have a uh, easily workable application okay so i hope this is it for this video in the next video we'll try to work uh, more on this application till then thanks for watching and hope you liked it